Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, today in this video, we will be discussing about how we can implement factorization machine for a uh, classification problem. Or I think for recommendation system also the whole process remains the same. So I have already explained what how factorization machine is performed with mathematics behind it that you can check in my previous video. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to pip install a very important package called as pyfm using this particular command pip install git plus https colon double forward slash github.com uh, forward slash core lynch forward slash pyfm don't just go for pip install pyfm because pyfm is an existing package in python which is not related to factorization machine so this particular github repo url you need to provide to install factorization machine implementation next we'll be importing a few important libraries for us that is numpy dict vectorizer train trust split and pylibfm from pyfm uh, before moving ahead, we will be creating a dummy dataset using scikit uh, SQL and or datasets make classification. So in this case, we will be generating one lakh samples with ten features. This is a sample dataset that we have generated for ourselves, but and the labels are one zero one zero. That is basically a binary classification that we have done. Next, we will be creating a dictionary using the loaded dataset, uh, with uh, where the key becomes the name of the column and value becomes its value. So basically, there is a particular format in which we need to feed into pylibfm. That is how we are doing this. So this particular array representation, we are converting it into a dictionary where we are making zero as the column name and value becomes the value of that particular key for each. So basically, this one dictionary represents one end, one sample for training. We just said now the third part is we are uh, doing a train test split. Uh, that we have import, uh, imported into x train x test y train y test now is the time to use factorization machine so before that as i discussed earlier in my video in my previous video you first need to do a what on coding for all the existing columns so you uh, for that we will be using dict vectorizer and we will be doing uh, when we will be converting the x train and x test into some sparse metrics using dict vectorizer once this is done the implementation is quite easy. We need to use pylibfm.fm. Num factors equals to 50. Num iterations equals to 10. That is basically epochs. Verbose is true. Task is classification. So if you're using, uh, so in case of recommendation system, if you're using implicit feedback, task should be classification. If you're using explicit feedback like rating and all, it should be regression. And the learning rate is 0 0.0001. What is this num factors? I will tell you this. After that, we are... Uh, doing a fit over x train y train and then we're calculating a matrix uh, there are two major uh, hyperparameters that has been used that is num factor so num factor is nothing but the size of the latent vectors so basically if you remember from my last discussion on factorization machine we are calculating latent vectors for high, capturing high order interaction in the factorization machine equation so this uh, this num factors is the size for the latent vector the bigger the size of the latent vector uh, the more complexity the model can capture but it becomes slower also and memory heavy also so this hyperparameter should be tuned and task as i told you earlier classification if you are using implicit feedback or regression if you're using explicit feedback now here you can see that the training loss uh, how the training has been done and eventually on validation we are getting an accuracy of 97 percent that is pretty good and the log loss is 0.097 so you can see that how pi fm uh, how pi fm can be used for implementing factorization machine for recommendation systems.